ATL Jacob, what's up, my dudes? Blessing her with the the damn locks of goddess level. <laughs> Look at the hair, dude. Damn, dude. Okay, we're back on Mars 2069 here. Uh, we're running a realistic race on one of these Atlanta tracks. You know the old rut tester. Boys, I got a rut tester terrain deformation tester playlist on my front page. Go check that shit out, dogs. Who? Oh, Spencey boy got this savage AI on easy because I just, anytime I'm doing these rut tester type videos, I like to just get out front and just see what the actual track is deforming into, you know what I mean? Let's see if I can stay in front of the, literally AI on easy right now, boys. Easy. <laughs> it's a little insanity, you know what I mean? Um, but anyways, here we are back on Saturn. Uh, I just had to come in here on a little bit of a different track and try to test out this terrain deformation, but I'm going to tell you right now, I don't think it's going to do jack diddly, just like I didn't think it was going to do much on Daytona either. have a feeling like for some reason this is going to look more visual deformation than it did on Daytona, though, but physically feeling it, I don't think so. What the fuck? Okay, Milestone, you got a big bug right here. You got a big bug right here, dude. On the PC version, this particular wall jump on the first Atlanta track, you pop off of this wall on the right side of that wall like almost every lap. It's some sort of an invisible wall bug or something like that. Milestone, you got quite a bit of bugs on this PC version of the game, dog. I'm just going to tell you that right now. I mean, you know, just look at it. You know, we just look at the track, first of all. Second of all... There's other bugs, like popping off on a wall. So I've already done that exact same thing multiple times on different times of playing this game, so that's how I know it's a bug. Trust me, I think the first time it's popped off just like that on that wall jump. So please fix that. Um, you know, at this point, Milestone should be paying me just for simply pointing out how many bugs they have in their game, but I digress. 75 jump in to the whoop section, okay? <laughs> <laughs> she Spencey boy, she boy, bro, bro, bro. Okay, not that you're really gonna even be able to see these ruts like properly here, you know, because uh, Saturn Mars, you know what I mean. But we're gonna take a look nonetheless. And I know, I know some of you dudes was talking about thinking that I had my settings like on PC, my, my got my settings set up wrong. Uh. You do realize that I have this set on the default high graphical setting on the PC, right? Some of you boys need to realize that, okay? <laughs> this is default high setting, all right? And it's also NVIDIA default settings as well. So we're default across the board on graphic settings. There ain't no one little setting that I've changed. There you go right there again. There ain't no one little graphical setting that I've changed a certain way, and that's why it looks all weird. No, 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 no. This is a legit issue, and what should go to show, what should go to tell you that as well is the fact that um, you know some of the tracks look more like normal, and then some of them don't. So that should go to show you that it's on Milestone's end; it's not on my end. Um, yes, I do understand some of you boys are not getting as much of a graphical bug on some of the other, like, consoles and stuff like that, but I do not have something set up wrong on PC. This is default high graphical settings. Default, motherfuckers. Default, okay? We ain't got no special little graphical setting going on here to cause this. This is on Milestone. I know you're trying to defend them, but this is on Milestone right here, bros. Just telling you. So... Either way, oh my lant dudes, oh my lant dudes, I mean, oh god, we got some red tiger ass looking MX bikes on the James Stewart compound type D formation right here, bro, let me turn on some HUD real quick, do a little bit of that HUD, you know what I'm saying, I gotta see what the hell I'm doing, uh... Let's get... What is it? I don't think it's... That tells us the position. This tells us some shit. Let's get this rev thing going again. Then the map. 
Yeah, let's just put a couple things back on here. All right. Uh, but as you can see, I mean, you definitely got something happening on the track. So we'll take a look here. Um, but yeah, I'm telling you right now, this D formation is not going to blow your mind. This is a very, very typical milestone, not really D formation, D formation. Do you know what I'm saying? This is the very, very similar. And the fact that this game doesn't really have any pre-made really brings it down. The fact, anytime you got a dirt bike game, <laughs> there we go again, boys. Um, anytime you have a dirt bike game that either doesn't have a whole lot of pre-made ruts and roughness or doesn't have a whole lot of terrain deformation physical feeling, it kind of sets it up for a pretty shitty experience. Um, but this game doesn't have either one of them, so... That's really unfortunate right there, but but yeah, I mean, you can see it, you know, trying to make some of that some of that roughness, some of that some of that ruddiness, but I'm just telling you right now it's not going to do it. It's not going to do it. It's just not going to do it to really affect anything. And I'm telling you right now if you get on one of these tracks with like holy shit, if you get on one of these tracks with a full gate in any dirt bike game and you don't physically feel the terrain deformation on like the third or fourth lap that's a pretty good example to you that you're not really gonna it don't really have a physical terrain deformation system to it you know that's kind of your your proof in the pudding right there that's how you can tell almost right away if a dirt bike game doesn't really have a terrain deformation system if you don't really feel those ruts if you don't really feel that roughness and I don't just mean the extra controller vibration that Milestone has added to MXGP 2021 and Supercross 5. That don't, what I, that's not what I mean by feeling it, okay? I mean actually physically feeling it with the physics, all right? If you don't feel that shit in the third or fourth lap, really changing the way you're riding around the track like it would on Reflex or, you know, even like all out at this point and shit, right? If you don't feel it in, in four or five laps with a full gait, it don't really have a physical terrain deformation system to it. I'm just telling you right now. So, and that's certainly the case here with Supercross 5. So, either way, boys, uh, we're about about five minutes into this one here. About five, six, seven minutes into this one right here, dudes. So, unfortunately... Looks as if Milestone is still basically asleep at the wheel when it comes to terrain deformation and pre-made. Oh, Milestone, are you ever going to learn, man? Are you ever going to learn, man? Spency Boy's been telling you this shit since day one. I've been telling you this shit since day one. And the thing about that is, is, you know... You've started to do some things with that with the MXGP game, you know, like as far as pre-made ruts and stuff like that. You started to do some of that with MXGP 2021, but that really has not carried over to Supercross 5. That's one of the things that just did not carry over to this game. Like, think about how much more fun this game would have been having like a pre-made inside rut on some of the corners, especially on the speedway tracks. Little bit of like pre-made braking bumps going into the the sand corner on Daytona or something. Very unfortunate that we didn't get to see that in this game with the the more advanced leaning forward and backward physics system that this game has. Just like shit, dogs. That would have been so much fun to experience that in this game, but unfortunately, whoever the hell's over there at Milestone working on that doesn't realize how important that is. I don't know how or why, but, you know, but as you can see, obviously development time was not, was not super good for Supercross 5, as you can see by the dirt color and me popping off on that wall jump for no reason every lap. You can see how <laughs> development time was crucial in this game's development, and some things just didn't really get touched at all. And I feel like one of those elements really is the pre-made and the terrain deformation. That's shit that feels like it really hasn't been touched at all. I still feel like you had more of a physical feeling on MXGP fucking 3 than you had than you have in Supercross 5. 
feel like you have more pre-made on all like MXGP 2021 than you have here with Supercross 5. So yeah, all that shit's really unfortunate, but you know, at the end of the day, I mean, it's just kind of one of those things. This is what Milestone's known for. Are we really shocked here? Are we really surprised here? I can tell you I'm not, you know? I can tell you I'm not, bro. But um, but it's not to say you can't have some fun in this game because I still feel like you can, especially with the different physics feeling to it. It don't really feel like Supercross 3. It don't feel exactly like Supercross 4. So there kind of is something there to experience different feeling-wise on the bike. Obviously, it's not extreme, but it is a different feeling. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, the whoop skill gap, just not really there. There, there's there's a couple of tracks in this game that will challenge you a little bit like rhythm section wise like a, the triple ends will challenge you a little bit but there's also a bunch of the other tracks in this game that don't really challenge you at all they're super basic casual easy you know <laughs> dude milestone please fix that right there dog you basically made this track like unrideable in a sense Ooh, Milestone's got some updating to do on this PC version of this game, man. That's all I got to say. They got some serious ass updating to do. And if they don't, oh boys. Oh boys. That's not going to be good. <laughs> I'm just telling you right now, it's not going to be good if they don't update some of this shit. But, um, yeah. So either way, man, I mean... Definitely let me know down in the comments if any of you guys have really rode some realistic length races on any of the tracks in the game that really felt like it was actually deforming the track. I don't mean this bullshit, like, visual, you know, shit with the controller vibration feeling. I mean, like, maybe, like, the Indianapolis track actually does a little bit of something. I don't know. Sometimes Milestone's kind of weird with that, where, like... If you get on one of these specific kind of track dirt compounds in one of their games, you can feel it just a little bit. And then all the other tracks in the game, you can't really feel it. I definitely think there's been a couple of milestone games that's kind of been like that a little bit. But I don't know if that's the case with Supercross 5, I'm just saying. But from what I've been able to tell so far in this game, this is the same or less terrain deformation than you've ever had in any other supercross game it's it's the same or less definitely not more or bigger or better or anything like that you know so not really much of a rut tester type shit i can even do in this game because what am there's no ruts to test there's no deformation to test here you know what i mean other than the visual element of it. Oh, yeah, it looks like there's ruts on the ground, guys. <laughs> hey, guys, it looks like it's putting something on the ground here, boys. Hey, guys, it looks like it's deforming it. Oh, yeah, boys. Oh, shit, dogs. All right, that's about enough laps on this shit, on this fucking blind my eyes, saturation level Jupiter hybrid fucking shit here. <laughs> but I can tell you this deformation ain't gonna do jack diddly. It ain't doing nothing here, dudes. Anything you think you're feeling was already there. There are some tracks in this game where it feels like they tried to put a little bit of character to the jumps and shit. Like, not really pre-made, but like, kind of like character in the sense of <clears throat> 420 Blades. It, they kind of tried to build the shit a little bit at, like where... Like, there's a little bit of a dibbit before a jump face, a little bit of a bump before a jump face, a little bit of a... Like, they'll build the, the Supercross triple landing a little bit weird to where it feels kind of different and some character. There, it, there is a little bit of character to some of the tracks, but not really pre-made. There's kind of a difference there, you know? There really is a difference there. Um, but some of them don't have quite as much character to them, and some of them do. It just kind of depends on what you're on. Um, but yeah, man, oh man, really thought, really thought we was going to see something with this, but unfortunately it don't really look like it here, boys. Don't really look like it. So either way, man, appreciate you guys watching all the videos. Be sure and hit all those notifications for the channel if you want to. Really helps me out. Go share the video with your friends and I'll see you boys on that next one. Later, dudes. There it goes again.